Hello everyone, it's Annie, and today I am here with my next sapphic reading vlog, volume 5, I believe. So, my books that I'm going to read are very exciting. <laughs> I recently hauled Honey Girl in a little book shopping vlog that I recently uploaded, which you can see up there, and I am very excited to read this. It is really short, so... I'm very happy about that because the books I'm reading this month are really long. I'm reading the Greenbone Saga and they're all over 500 pages and I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, <laughs> but it's okay, we're gonna get through it. So I have this book which is a 2021 debut by Morgan Rogers and this is about this girl who went to Las Vegas and gets married to a woman who she never met before and it was like a drunken, you know, thing that they don't really remember and I have heard amazing things about this. Of course, this cover is gorgeous and I am really excited to get to it. So this is the first book I'll be reading and then I will also be reading the third and final book in the trilogy Girls of Paper and Fire, which is Girls of Fate and Fury. Look at Red on the cover, she's so beautiful, I love her. <laughs> So I read the second one and I was not as impressed as I was with the first one. The first one I gave five stars, the second one I only gave three stars. I didn't think it was as strong, but I'm really looking forward to this because I'm pretty sure this is from Ren's point of view only. While the first one was from Lay's and the second one was a dual POV, I'm pretty sure this is only from Ren's point of view, so I'm really really interested in reading her thoughts. And then the last book I will be reading is The Girls I've Been by Tess Sharp. I'm reading this for the Reindeer Readathon Vixen Prompt, I think it is, a book that recently caught my eye because I recently hauled this in one of my thrift shopping vlogs and I am so excited to read this. It is about a girl who kind of takes on all these different identities. Her mother was a con woman, but she has since run away from her and she gets caught up in a bank robbery, I think. She's like a hostage or something. I have heard nothing but good things about this book and every single person <laughs> who I have told I want to read this has told me like, wow, you, you will love this book and everyone loves this. So I'm very excited to read this. So now I will get started reading Honey Girl. So I am about 50% of the way through with Honey Girl. Um, it has been taking me a while. <laughs> I don't know why. It is such a short book, but this is taking me forever to get through. I really like it. I really like Grace and Yuki, who is the girl that Grace married in Las Vegas. I really think that they are very interesting characters. Yuki has a really interesting personality and she has an interesting radio show and she's like into magic and stuff like that, which I think is a really interesting juxtaposition between Grace's more serious academic, like no nonsense kind of life. Um, I think that Grace's, um, the exploration of Grace's like mental health and kind of dealing with the expectations that her father has put on her for her future is really really interesting but just something is not grabbing me with this book and I don't know why <laughs> I don't know why it's taking me so long to get through this because I do like it I really like it but just it it is quite slow paced maybe that's part of the problem um it could just be my mood <laughs> that I'm not into a contemporary romance mood right now um, I do like that romance is not really the main focus of the book. Again, like I said in the beginning of this vlog, it is more focused on Grace and her mental health and like kind of finding herself and coming of age after getting her PhD and kind of 
not having a set career path and not knowing what to do with her life. Um, I think that is all very interesting. I'm kind of hoping that the pace picks up a little bit in the second half of the book. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. So I'll be back to update you when I finish. finished Honey Girl. I am giving it four stars. I really liked it, but as I mentioned earlier, it took me forever to read this. Like this book took me about nine days to read and it's so short, like that is not, I don't know. I, just something was blocking me from finishing it. Something was making me not as invested in it as I wanted to be. I think one of my problems with it was that like I wanted her relationship, the main character's relationship with her father to be more explored and like it was explored but I felt like I wanted a little bit more of that and also I did end up feeling that the various friends of the main character and her wife were taking up too much space like they were interesting and like it was an interesting cast of characters but i feel like they just took too much page time away from things that we could have been exploring more of and i don't know i i felt like the ending was a little bit like it was really really feel good and like not cliche in a way but just like a little bit too sugary sweet for me i don't know i I don't know what I really expected. Um, it was really good. I, obviously, I liked it. It was four stars. I'm just, you know, it's easier to tell you things I didn't like about it. Um, but those are the things that really stood out to me. And I really, I really liked the main couple. And I did really like how the book explored the main character's mental health. Um, so all in all, it was a great read. And now I am very excited. I'm going to be starting The Girls I've Been by Tess Sharp. Um, I am really, really excited for this and it seems like it's going to be a fast read. So I'm excited to get started. I'll check in later. today I am almost at 50k words so that's exciting um, I am going a little slowly but that's okay um, I did some reading today because today I was off so I am halfway through the girls I've been and I love it <laughs> really really good it starts off like whoa like the action is right there it draws you in like it is absolutely amazing i am really curious about how exactly this book is going to end it's really fast paced and it's a fast read so far um this only took me a couple of days so compared to honey girl <laughs> it's much faster uh, and i like it much more i really like the main character and all of her complexity I am not really sure how much I like the whole deal with her ex-boyfriend being there and the drama between her and her current girlfriend while this bank robbery is going on that they're entangled with. I'm not really sure how much I like that, but this is why so I have to take, you know, a little bit of relationship drama 
as par for the course of the age range, I guess. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it is. I'm very, very much looking forward to finishing this book. Okay, I finished The Girls I've Been yesterday. <laughs> I actually finished the second half of this book in like just a couple hours. It really, really picked up. We learn a lot about the main character, Nora, and her past with her mom. And her mom was a con woman, but she also got together with a few very unsavory men that Nora had to deal with. And Nora is such a powerful main character. I absolutely love her. I love the takes that this book took on trauma and abuse. Um, it was just so wonderfully done. And I really, really liked Nora's girlfriend as well. And I warmed up to her ex-boyfriend. I think that their relationship, that they're now just friends is really sweet and her girlfriend was awesome. It wasn't just like a girl with no personality, even though she was technically a minor character, she did play a big role in the story. And her relationship with Nora was really sweet, even though Nora was not entirely truthful with her all the time, she understood that. And they were just all so respectful of each other. And so it was so good. <laughs> It's really really good. Um, this book is so action-packed like it really really just takes the reins and like runs 0 to 60. It was really really fast-paced, tons of action and just keeps you guessing at every turn. This is a five-star read absolutely. I really really loved it and I'm so glad I decided to pick it up for this vlog. So the last book of this vlog is going to be Girls of Fate and Fury, which I am so excited to read. I got the audiobook from my library and I am going to start it probably tomorrow because I'm working today and I'm busy, but I'm really, really looking forward to it and I can't wait to update you guys about it. So I'll be back. So I am 56% of the way through of Girls of Fate and Fury. I do really like this. I am thinking that I'm liking it better than the second book of the trilogy. I do really love that we get Wen's, Ren's point of view. Um, I think one of the reasons that I didn't love the second book was because there wasn't enough of the other girls, you know what I mean? The other paper girls. Um, and this book does have them more, which I am very excited about. I do not, I still don't like Ren's like ex-girlfriend that they added in the second book. I really don't think she was a necessary addition and it really just annoys me whenever she's on the page. So, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, because I'm excited to see where this goes. 
So I'll be back to update you soon. <laughs> so I finished Girls of Fate and Fury and I really, really enjoyed it. I'm really glad that I liked the ending and it was a happy ending. I don't think that's a spoiler um, because it, obviously it seemed like it was going there, but I absolutely loved the ending of it. I thought it was perfect and just Ren and Lei <laughs> are one of my favorite couples of all time. I just, I love them. It did take me a little bit of time in the beginning of the book to kind of get like remember actually what happened in the last book <laughs> um and to like get re-immersed into the world but once I did it was very good I do think that there was a lot of action and like almost every chapter there was like they get interrupted by like an explosion or like an attack or something and it's like okay um so that was a little bit much i thought that it could have i don't know there was just so much emotional depth in the first book that there was emotional depth in this book too especially at the end but i just wanted more because i know that there's the potential for it um but all in all i really enjoyed this and I just loved it and I loved seeing these girls triumph over the king and it was just great. <laughs> I'm very glad I got to read this. I also really liked Blue's character development. I know it's kind of weird that I'm <laughs> reading the third book of a trilogy in this vlog. So if you don't know what this is about, it's about nine girls from the paper cast who are like just fully human girls. Um, who were basically picked and forced to be concubines for the Demon King, and it's great. <laughs> so Blue is one of the paper girls, and throughout the first two books, she was like not, she was, she was not evil, but like she made life for Lei and Ren really, really hard, and she just had an attitude. And I really enjoyed her character development in this book. She became nicer and became friends and it was, it was really good. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. So thank you very much for joining me on this vlog and like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye!